Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is June 6th, and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So Palantir up four cents uh, at 0.45%, uh, post market even, Steven. Let's look at what we have here. So Palantir is into this upward channel. And just recently we started to get what we like, stochastic over 60. And we got it. We got it because of this big candle. But when you see a big candle like this, the other ones were smaller, then the stock might be pulling back a little bit because uh, when a stock goes a little bit too high, too fast, then there's a pullback. The easier stock moves are when the stock just goes up slowly like this. This is the perfection. This is what we like to see. But uh, it rarely happens. Eh? It's, uh, it's like this, a little bit down, like this, a little bit down, like this, a little bit down, instead of just going slowly. This is just what's uh, happening. So. So stochastic over 60 happened a couple of days ago, and now we have a little bit of a pullback because of it, and, but stochastic is still climbing. So I have hope that we are going to maintain ourselves. It would be nice above nine bucks, but that's not entirely necessary, but it would be nice and to slowly go towards this uh, resistance right here. Let's look at the one hour chart. So the first hour of the day was here quite high, I would say. Came back down and came back up. And, and then second hour was pretty red. Then, then we followed support, came back up and we have a hard time with this resistance. Now look at this. We have a hard time. We could not break above this today. Boom, here. And now we are just barely below nine bucks. It would be nice tomorrow to just have the stock go here a little bit. Stochastic, uh, stochastic at 57. So very close to our 60. DMI is still good. RSI is good. We just, we have the two lines above zero for uh, MACD. So, uh, which is one thumb up this. The other time down is because of the crossover bearish, the green line below the red line. Going back on the daily chart, uh, stochastic at 70, it's not too bad at all. So this is giving me hope. I don't know how long this is going to last, but so far this, I am hopeful. MACD, MACD nice, RSI close to being over 50 and DMI still red though. But still, it's maintaining itself quite well, considering everything else that's uh, happening in the market. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. You can click on my TradingView affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow, and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.